it like to travel by wagon train? In the 1840s, settlers began traveling overland to California and Oregon. The journey took many months. The travelers, like these families bound for California, had to work as a team to overcome problems. It is a brutally hot day in August 1851. The settlers have halted at a bank of the Humboldt River in Nevada. They must cross the river to continue west to California. Looks like we've got trouble. What's wrong, Henry? Look at all those rocks. The river is full of them. How are we supposed to get the wagons past those? The wheels and axles will be splinters by the time we get to the other side. What if one of the oxen slips? We can't lose an ox. We still have to get across the desert and over the mountains. Can't we cross the river somewhere else? This is the shallowest part, Sarah. We talked it all over with the scout. It's too deep to cross anywhere else. Well, let's get some food ready while we figure this out. Jesse, why don't you and Jane put up some canvas between our wagons for shade? Sarah and Daniel, bring us some water, please. Can I go for a swim first? I've been walking behind the wagon all day. Sarah and I have been helping out the Weber family, and I'm all dusted out. I'm not sure the river's safe, Dan. Why don't you take the bucket and pull yourself off? A short time later, Sarah comes running, gasping for breath. Mama! Hannah's brother got stung by something! Oh, dear! No time to waste. Jane, hand me that big green bottle and a roll of bandages. The rest of you, do what Anna tells you until I get back. Cecilia Dalton hurries away, and the families finish preparing the noon meal. Over their food, they discuss the river crossing. So, what have you all decided about the wagons? Old Captain Combs said we'll carry them across the river. You'll do what? Can I help, Pa? You can help unload the wagon, son. After we've lightened the load, we'll walk each wagon into the river, grab hold of it, and lift it across. Then we'll guide the oxen. We'll need to make sure there's plenty of tar on the wagon boards. We don't want any leaks. Jane, Sarah, you can help me with the tar bucket, too. The families empty the wagons, and a dozen people carry each wagon around the rocks until the whole train is safely across. It takes all day. The oxen make it across without injury. The next morning, the Daltons wait for the signal for the wagon train to move on. Come on, let's go. I want to get to California before all the gold is gone. Be patient, cousin. Gold might not be so easy to find, but you can always come work for me. I hear California is a farmer's paradise. Almost as good as Illinois. Mama, may I walk with the Webbers and Hannah? Oh, John's doing fine now, isn't he? Yes. He'll be all right. Be back by noon. I wish we could have waited here one more day, Cecilia. What about you, Jane? I agree. But Captain Combs said we have to get over the Sierra Nevadas before the first snow, or we'll all be in danger. There's the signal. Everybody ready? Let's move out.